hi guys welcome back to my channel today's video show you guys how to make a scrunchy headband and if you want to see how i did that watch to the end of the video For this tutorial, you're going to be needing headbands. You can use the bigger ones or the smaller ones. I do prefer the smaller ones and that's what I'm going to be using. Also, you're going to need fabric. Whatever kind of fabric you want is good for. I decided to use the satin fabric because I like satin. It's shiny, it looks rich, it makes you look powerful. I don't know, I'm just joking. Also, satin is cheap, so you get the drift. Uh, you're going to go on your fabric and you're going to mark 10 centimeters from the end and then you're going to measure out 100 centimeters long wide long <laughs> the length is going to be 100 centimeters so you're just going to measure that out and you are going to mark it down with a pen or a marker whatever thing you're using and when you do that you're just going to go ahead and cut it out or in my situation you could easily rip it since it is satin okay now that we're done ripping it out you're going to cut the other end and then this is what you have you just have one long sash of fabric and that is what we are going to be working with so for the next part you are going to fold it into half okay wait first you're going to mark down 10 centimeters from the bottom and then you're going to mark two centimeters from the end so this is so that when you reach the end you're going to have like that is it tapered you're going to have like um a smaller look and then it goes into this big bulge of ruffles and then you have like this small nice end so that is what this thing is for anywho you're going to fold the sash into two and you're going to cut it so that the two sides match this is a very easy way if you don't want to do like the whole measuring it two times um so i thought i was filming but i wasn't but now again i'm filming so you're just going to go ahead and sew it down on a sewing machine also i want to just say it out there that this video is very very hand friendly so you can actually go ahead and do this watch a movie like um more of your favorite netflix shows while you hand sew it you don't necessarily need a sewing machine and i would have hand sewn it but i like the sewing machine is faster um yeah so you're just going to sew everything down and you're going to sew it really nice and it also you're going to leave like um a space so that you can turn it inside out so that's the end and now uh, i'm going to cut the excess thread also you should cut like the size i didn't show you yet but you should cut the sides so that your seam is going to look nice when you turn it in so now this is a like this part is a little bit tricky because um this sash is very long so what i ended up doing was i used my pen i first of all started using like my hands and then i used a pen like this common sense like hey <laughs> I am genius so you just use a pen and then you just push everything on the other side and then you can take off the pen while holding the tip and pull it out and voila your your like sash is done so that's the space I left um, now you're going to just take your headband and you're going to just put your headband into it I don't know what this process is called like fit your headband into it I don't know um yeah so as you can see the headband is already coming together very very nicely um so you're just going to put it down there and then this is the part that i really do not like very much but yes you're going to take a thread and needle and you're going to sew that opening you left in the beginning so that you could turn it inside like you could turn to the good side so you're going to sew it down and i don't know what this stitch is called but it is all over pinterest like um they do like they sew it on the two sides 
and then they pull like one really really long string and then everything comes together so nicely so as you can see that's what i'm doing and this is the first time i'm doing this stitch like genius pinterest people are a whole vibe like that is my new go-to app for whatever thing i need yeah so um that's what i'm doing and i'm just going to continue doing that i don't know why this part is slow but um yeah listen to some good music okay so as you can see it looks neat and it's nice well neat is a reach but it looks nice and i'm going to go ahead and move forward with the next part of the program again you're going to need your threader needle and honestly there's a far we nicer neater way of doing it it's just that it's twice as much work because first you have to sew it and then use a ribbon to like cover the jaga jaga sewing <laughs> to cover the trash sewing yeah so you're going to take your needle and your thread and you are going to just sew it down like sew it on the side like that so that it is um what's the word it's firm and it's tighter that way it's going to sit nicely behind your ears and you're not going to just get like a bunch of ruffles so yeah for this next part that's what you're going to do whatever way that you can sew it the trick is just to fold the excess fabric that's why we cut this thing smaller so that would, like there wouldn't be so much excess fabric yeah so you just fold it and then you sew i've sewn one side and then i'm going to go ahead and sew the other side So we are done and now this is glam time. <laughs> this is my curl Anyways, I'm going to put on my wig and I'm going to brush my hair, brush it till it's tangle free and it looks really, really nice. And then more brushing and more brushing and more brushing. Like, wow, I really like to brush my hair. After that, you are just going to put your scrunchie so I'm going to go first with the satin one because it's it's my favorite I'm not going to lie like I said I really like satin and see how gorgeous it looks also my it itself forgot to like the, the, it was a loose list situation because if I did a black backdrop I was going to not I was going to just blend into the black backdrop and then this white one I cannot really show you guys my satin creation very well but trust me it is lit okay so i'm just modeling and modeling and doing some more modeling for you guys and yeah the satin is actually really really nice and it's really really cute like i loved it Okay, so this is the next one I made out of this packly fabric I have and it's also just plain gorgeous like look at the material any hoosies I've shown you guys how to do this in very very short time and this is the end of the video as always leave a comment subscribe share with your friends follow me on my socials I love you guys I'll see you in my next video bye